I'm Tara Oakland. Look what just came in. Books? It is so rare that I review books, but we got both these in at the same time. Now, this is Tarot Deciphered. You know I've been hyping about this from Susan Chang and M.M. M. Moline. Massive, massive combo of uh, knowledge there. And this is Tarot Deciphered. Not a thin book. This is almost 600, no, it's more than that. It's 650 pages. So this is quite the tome. And we're going to take a quick look at it in just one second. I want to show you the other book, however, before we do that. And that is Advanced Tarot. Another one I've been hyped about. This is by Paul Smith. And Paul Smith has a quite the tome as well. I think this clocks in at 557 pages. Neither one of these are small uh, by far, but let's zoom out and take a look at what is in these marvelous books. Okay, so let's do advanced tarot first, and that consists of a um, in-depth guide to practical and intuitive tarot reading, not just practical, but intuitive as well. And I like sort of the beginning of this. Look at that. Look at that. Very, very cool. Nice, colorful. And you have like a little fold out here for that. So very, very attractive layout on here. And you get into the contents. Let's take a look at the contents. I'm going to adjust the brightness so it's not blown out. So pardon the modifications. There you go. So here is the table of contents. I'll let you pause and take a look at that. A telescope aimed at the future, importance of yes, no questions. And around 119, we get into tarot layouts. We have a one card layout, seven action consequences horoscope. And then we have a way to design our own layouts starting on 133. So it's kind of nice. And now you start sort of in the sample tarot readings with interpretations. So 140 to 176 is pretty good. And now you have things like reading under pressure, what happens when you need more clarity, giving distance readings, so over the internet, over the phone, and what have you, and cleansing between clients to make everything clean and sparkly. And then the meat and potatoes of the book. Now, both of these books sort of take a, a same approach for the meat and potatoes. You just have sort of the cards laid out there. Um, this one in particular, though, goes through all of the majors individually, stopping at 541. And we do the minor arcana. It's broken down into aces, twos, threes, fours, and whatnot. Court cards are separate. The pages are all in one shot and then the majors as well. So let's sort of skip over to some of this real quick here. Let's do the threes, starting at page 228 and whatnot. Now it is black and white once you dive into it, but as you get into, for example, the threes, we have a, have a quick description. So the threes describe progress with personal plans, the wands approach is through actions and whatnot. So it sort of breaks down the different suits there. And then we have a three of wands breakdown here. And that sort of goes on for quite some time. Well, I'll let you pause and take a look at it and take a read. I would pause right now and check it out. And then we go into the next page, which is more threes. So I love how in Paul's one, we get the three of wands reversed, for example. So now he sort of tackles the three of wands, three of wands reversed, three of cups, three of cups reversed. And I love how we have a dedicated section just for that. So if you want to read that, I will pause again. And let you get a little preview of that. And then let's sort of flip over here to the three of cups if you want to get a preview. And then through the Three of Cups reversed and moving into the Three of Swords. So advanced tarot it is. I mean, again, I'm letting you pause and take a look at it. And the Three of Swords, more Three of Swords, and Three of Swords reversed, etc. So this is a, a deep dive. And this is not just a cursory, a cursory glance at the car. This is not just keywords. This is a deep dive. And, to, you know, advanced tarot it is. 
and I really appreciate just how deep this is. I'm really looking forward to sinking my teeth into this and checking it out because the the uh, extensiveness of just what's covered here. I mean, look, you just have page after page after page after page of just the threes. And it sort of goes on with that. So very, very good breakdown with that. Let's take a look at sort of the back there. We have the world and the world reversed. So once you get into the majors, for example, we do have a good page on the world, for example. And then we sneak into the world reversed on the other side there. And then we go into the, um, the last of the world reverse. So again, deep dive, really, really good stuff here. And this, there's so much here. And I believe this was after my discount because don't buy anything from Llewellyn without a discount. They run sales all the time. After my 30% discount, I think this was 25 bucks, which is the steal of a lifetime. The steal of a lifetime. I mean, just look at that. Look at that. I mean, listen. I mean, that is that is a significant tome of tarot knowledge. Now, let's look at the other one over here. Now, this is the one I was really excited about. You know I'm a big fan of M.M. M. Moline. Um, huge, huge fan. Susan Chang's other book is outstanding. If it has T. Susan Chang on it, and it's a book, I recommend you pick it up. Uh, bottom line, that there's there's no really if ands or buts, just just pick it up. So let's look at what's in here. Again, we have a similarity between the previous book because we are just sort of going through the cards individually. But instead of covering all the threes, all the fours, um, they break it down into individual cards, which I appreciate. So this goes just straight in. This goes straight in. There's not how to be a tail reader, how to be a better tail reader, how to cleanse between clients. You just you're just going right in, going right in into the court cards. We're going in there and we're going deep, deep dive. And again, this is not a small book. Tables and diagram. We got the tree of life, the uh, the Deccans. We have planetary dignities, a golden dawn color scales table. <gasps> Golden Gone color scale table. And obviously, this is going to be black and white, but let's check out a couple of uh, let's check out a couple of cards and see what we're looking at. I am a spine bender. I'm a spine breaker. So I know a lot of people hate that, and I will never sell this book, so I really don't care. Um, but yeah, I am a spine breaker. I got I got to sort of snap that spine, and uh, so it just makes it good to read. Now you have the devil loading into card 15, signs and dignities, Hebrew letter, Hebrew letter meaning path 26, color scales in the four worlds, themes and keywords. Great, great stuff. Now we're getting into the meat of it. We're getting into the astrology and element. Ooh, I like that. I'm going to pause and let you sort of preview that a little bit with the astrology stuff. And then we have a mythology and alchemy, a mythology and alchemy, astrology and sort of the element of the card. And this is just warming up because there's a lot more. Then we're going into the path and the Kabbalah. So I'll let you pause and read that. And we do have a lot of sort of wasted space in here, but I, I don't really mind. I, I don't really mind. Just the amount of pages in here is just insane. Now we go into the Rider weight symbolism <gasps> and the Thoth symbolism. Okay, I, I, I'm getting excited at this point. I, I'm just not, I'm not going to lie. Uh, this is pretty exciting for me. Um, anyway, the Rider weight symbolism and the Thoth symbolism. You would have to buy multiple books in order to get this done. And again, I paid, I think, 27 bucks for this after the 30% discount. Llewellyn always has these sales. Watch my channel. Subscribe if you want to know when it's on sale. I'll notify you with like five minutes after I get the email or sign up for the email spam list. Up to you. Rider weight and Thoth symbolism. I, I really can't tell you how exciting this is. Related cards as well. Related cards. I'll let you pause and read that with the related cards. So I'm telling you now, this is this is pretty damn exciting. We got the astrology. Okay, check this out. 
Check this out. Again, I'm a spine breaker. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know everybody hates me. I won't ever give it to a library. You won't find this from me. I'm keeping it for the rest of my life. Two of Wands. Here we're sort of breaking into the Two of Wands. I'll let you pause and check it out. I mean, Associate Majors, Emperor Tower, um, the Colors, um, the Sephira, the World, Significations, Images. We're getting into the astrology element and the mythology and time of year as well. So that's, that's huge. That's huge. Again, I will pause and let you read. And then let's sort of sneak into the rest of it. We're back to Kabbalah. We have a dedicated section on Kabbalah, which I really, really enjoy. And Rider weight and Thoth symbolism. That's, uh, that's huge. That's huge. The amount of books that you would have to buy to get this information it would be probably 70, 80 bucks. You're getting it here for like 20-something bucks with it on sale. I'm telling you now, um, we're going to we'll do related cards on this one, and then we'll stop. Uh, basically, that's what we have. We'll use, we'll get a little bit, a little bit into some of the other ones here, which is kind of cool, like that. Look at this. You got the Yi Jing. We go into geometric figure and Yi Jing hexagram. Yi Jing hexagram, elemental information for some of these cards you get the hexagram and then we go back to the rider weight thought symbolism that's fine and these are uh, the chords so if you want like the best chord card hunk of information ever this is going to be it this is going to be i'm not going to lie now this is going to be it this is huge this is huge i need to take a breath i need to take a breath okay all right i'm telling you now this is the biggest no-brainer set of books I've ever seen in tarot. I'm not, I'm not writing off some of the big ones. I know all the big ones. I have all the big books. This is massive. This is huge. This is such a beautiful, well-written. I've already read a few chapters. This is such a beautifully well-written tome of tarot information that um, you just, I mean, you'd be silly not to spend 20-something bucks on this. Just, I'm telling you now, uh, look at that. You have the Yi Jing, again, everything is... This, these two books are just amazing. I'm just going to just gonna turn off my phone. I'm going to just isolate myself and uh, <laughs> for the next few days and just read, try to read as much of this as possible because this is just exhilaratingly exciting. As you can tell. <laughs> anyway, so that, that's a first look sneak peek at Advanced Tarot and Tarot Deciphered. Thank you for watching. I'm going to uh, go into my happy place and just sit here and just read. Um, please hit like and subscribe. See you next time.